As I went by and I saw the women crushing the onions, I couldn't believe how every little single thing in their life takes on a ritual side. I mean, they weren't only crushing onions, they were singing to it. I was almost consecrating the onions. It was just not crushing them. It was also singing towards what they're going to bring them. So now this is the millet. Yes, it's millet. Yeah. How do you say millet? And it's uh, you. 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 What do you use the millet for? It's everything, no? Everything, the food? Yes, for sure. food, for uh, yes. making millet beer. Okay. You want to, you want to try? Yes, yes, okay. okay. How do I do it? Like this? What? The kind of one, yes. Come, sir? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. C'est bon. <laughs> yeah. Come, sir? Good. It's, it's heavy, eh? Yeah. Crushing the millet made me realize how hard the life over there is. I mean, if they want to get flour, they have to do this. So the women do this every day. And it's really hard. I mean, these pellets are very heavy. And, you know, you get all these splinters in your hands because they're not sanded properly. And uh, again, it's an activity that's got a lot of rhythm. And to give themselves a beat or, you know, courage, I guess, they sing along with it. Ah, oh, no, she's tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me. Hey, uh, hey, uh. <laughs> I mean, Doguru even pitched in to try, and I thought that was so funny because I bet he doesn't do that every day. So the women got a kick out of it too. Hey, I, I do this for a week, okay. and I probably, you know, like, <laughs> feel strong.